Thank you. Thank you very much. My wife and I just had a brand new baby, and uh, I'm, oh, thanks. Thank you. I'm very excited because uh, for the for the whole pregnancy, she didn't want to have sex. I mean, every time I wanted to try it, and we're in bed, you know, she's like, "Well, I don't feel attractive." I said, "Dale, yeah, well, believe it or not, my penis has real poor vision." <laughs> Actually, he's legally blind. Only women think like that, not guys. I mean, really. I mean, I'm with her, and I go, come on, honey, you think tonight? And she goes, I'm too fat. What guy would be like that if your wife said, hey, tonight, you think you want to do it? <laughs> nah, I'm too fat to do it, honey. <laughs> so I'm laying in bed with her. You know, I'm on the road a lot performing. And she said, she said, you know, can I ask you something? She said, you know, you've been on the road for like three weeks. She said, have you been taking care of yourself? I said, yeah, I masturbated a couple of times. <laughs> She said, masturbate? I'm talking about eating right and exercising. <laughs> You've been... um... She goes, I'm up every hour with a crying baby and you're masturbating in a hotel room? <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, my mom said that when you masturbate, all your dead relatives are watching. <laughs> but then I figured, who are they gonna tell? What if that was true and you die and get to heaven and like your uncle's waiting for you and said, hey, I caught you spanking the monkey last night. <laughs> Here's the other thing about my wife. You know, women, I think, white lie about their weight a little bit. Guys, you get on the scale, someone asks you how much you weigh, you look at the scale, whatever it says, that's what you weigh. Women never weigh what the scale says. My wife has a mathematical equation that goes along with that number. I go, how much do you weigh? And she goes, well, my clothes are 10 pounds. <laughs> your clothes are 10 pounds? What do you have, buckshot in your pockets? She goes, my hair's a little wet, I didn't floss yet. Oh yeah, you didn't floss, there's three pounds. That'd be like her going, hey, you ever measure yourself to see how long it is? Yeah, 13 inches. Starting at the spleen. Well, who's to say where the spleen ends and the other thing starts? I mean, a turtle isn't just the part that's sticking out of the shell. There's a lot of turtle on the inside. Oh, man. So I flew in here uh, yesterday night, and uh, I'm at the airport, and I have to go to the bathroom, and I hate using the public restrooms, and, and I go into the stall, and I got like nine layers of toilet paper on the toilet seat, and I won't even sit on the seat. I'm like straddling the seat, and I have my jacket hanging on the stall door, and I'm holding on to that, and I'm like hovering over the toilet. I'm not kidding. And I'm going, and the last piece falls in, and the toilet water squirts up my ass. Oh, this is an HBO. I, uh... And it goes up there, and my ass shuts like a time lock at the bank. And... See, that reaction tells me you know what I'm talking about. And, and I'm trying to push it out, and it won't come out. And they don't sell fleet enemas at the gift shop at the airport. And now I got like a four-hour flight, and I'm thinking, God knows what's laying eggs in me. Uh, I don't want to wake up in the emergency room with the doctor going, you didn't get airport toilet water up your ass, did you? <laughs> Guys, been a great crowd. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Robert Schimmel, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Everybody, uh, sitting here with Mr. Schimmel. Thank you. That was very funny. Oh, thank you very much. You are clearly very, uh, very phobic about uh, using the bathroom. <laughs> well, I had a, I, it does bother me. I remember once I was going to the bathroom on the toilet, and when I'm done, I look in there, and it's black. And I know that when it's black, something's really wrong. And so I call my dad, because you can't really call your wife in and go, honey, does that look funny? And she goes, yeah, Bob, it's hysterical. Yeah. So uh, I called my dad. I said, Dad, you're going to believe this. I just went to the toilet, and it's black. And he said, Bob, you're not going to believe this, but I'm in a business meeting, and you're on the speakerphone. <laughs> and, uh... Really happened? Yes, that really happened. 
You can't write stuff no, like that. No, you can't, and you shouldn't. All right. <laughs> do want to thank all my guests uh, tonight. Robert Schimmel, thank you for being oh, so funny. Really good having you here. Yeah.